friends! Welcome to the World of Venus Safari. You're back again for more book reviews, of course. I've had a good start to the year, I think, as far as reading. I have read two books so far, and we're only two weeks into January, so... The book that I am going to talk about today, she might be the best Christian writer that I've ever read. Just my opinion. What Women Fear by Angie Smith. If you followed me for a while, you know that I've talked about going to therapy. I suffer from depression and anxiety. Anxiety is just a major stronghold in my life right now. Oh my gosh, it's really horrible. <laughs> the anxiety and depression are just so debilitating mentally and emotionally, spiritually. I'm not exaggerating, like, at all. I cried every page of this book. Every page. I just knew daily. I, I just, I said, okay, well, it's my crying time. <laughs> I'm just going to have my coffee and I'm going to cry, you know, I'm going to read a chapter and I'm going to cry. I really did. I just cried all the way through this book um, because I could just so relate to her struggle with fear. What's really great about this is it's not just talking about general fear. It's not just talking about, oh, fear doesn't suck, you know, dang, I hate it. It deals with specific fears. There's, for example, the fear of rejection, abandonment, or betrayal, fear of failure, fear of death, fear of not being significant, fear that God isn't real. There were like two or three fears that I couldn't really relate to personally, but um, I can relate to all the rest. And so believe me, it more than made up for it. <laughs> she has a degree in psychology and that's kind of evident in her work because she just knows how to like hit to the heart of something not just because I think of her training but also because she is a, truly a very gifted writer and um, she has been through a lot of trauma in her life so she dips into that well of personal experience she shares that um, depth of knowledge as someone who really really struggles with fear my thorn in the flesh you know doesn't really go away you can manage it but I man but she uses other people that you know aren't really used I don't think very often like Hagar or Hagar, I don't know how she said, and Ishmael, or Ishmael, I'm not even sure how those names are said, um, but she uses people like that. Gideon's another really good one. I couldn't read this book at a better time in my life. My therapist moved away, and I've really felt that void of someone who really just speaks into your problems and with authority and wisdom, and this book came at the right time for me in that to kind of fill that that gap. I would absolutely recommend this book. It um, it will make you ball. It is written for women, but I would say anyone who has a major issue with fear, if you feel like fear is part of your every moment, every day, like it is with me, I'm not proud of that. I don't feel like a very strong Christian um, or strong person because I am afraid all the time. But it's really rough on your emotions, ladies. So you might want to like get a safe place under a blanket. Or something. I have my daily cry with my daily cup of coffee. What Women Fear by Angie Smith. She's an anointed writer. She just is in her elements and I'm very glad that I found that book. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll catch you next time. Bye.